guys, welcome back to The Vintage Fern, where I'm a full-time reseller and a full-time mom, for those of you that don't know. So I primarily sell on Poshmark, but also on Mercari. Those are my only two platforms currently, and I do send stuff in the thread up too to sell. But yeah, so this is a 15 pair of shoes rescue box from thread up. Um, shoes, kind of my favorite thing to resell. I find them very easy and quick to photograph. Um, storing them isn't super easy, <laughs> um, but they are my top seller, I would say, um, and just can sell a lot of them. So I like to get them in and out of my house. <laughs> okay, well, I can't find the other one to this. But this is the body shoe, Hush Puppies. But it's kind of cute. They tried, I guess. Um, I'm thinking it's I'm pretty sure Hush Puppies is like a lower comfort brand. They are a size six, but a little strappy detail. I don't see, maybe this is it. Oh, here it is. Yeah, they're good shape, but no idea what these go for. I'm guessing not much. Then we have a pair of North Side. Thought there were maybe Keens or something, but they're size six. I'm guessing this is just like a, I don't know, probably not Walmart, but some lower end trying to be keen I guess <laughs> if that makes sense guessing that's six men's too so it's interesting we have LL Bean size 10 didn't even know they made like wedges but I mean obviously they're pretty outdated but really good shape I would say like barely worn a green suede. Someone might be looking for those in being a size 10. Not bad. And we have Aldo. Size 6, I believe. They're gold, but they're pretty kind of scuffed and stuff. So we'll see about those, I guess. We have a pair of Dansko sandals, which I love selling Dansko, and these are a size 42, which is an awesome size. Um, but yeah, very, I'd say a lot of people do seek out this brand, like the people that buy Danskos have like Danskos for life, um, but they retail for quite a bit. Um, very high quality comfort shoe. They're known for their like nurse clog. Um, but they make other styles like sandals, but yeah, I usually have no problem selling these and I can sell them from anywhere from 40 to $60, depending. Um, and these being a 42, I'll probably be able to get the 50, $60 range, I'd say. And these are seven for all mankind. Way at the bottom. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to look like that. Like the suede is like that all over. It looks like it needs to be like burned or whatever. But I don't know. It's like pretty consistent. No idea how their shoes do. But they are a size eight, made in Italy, and they are cute. Cute fall. Piece. And these are Treasure and Bond, which I think is Walmart, or no, that's not Walmart. Macy's or Nordstrom, I think, it is a leather upper, so definitely not Walmart. Um, I don't know why I thought that at first. But I have received a pair of Treasure and Bond before, and I think they do retail in the low hundreds but resale value is not really there. These are really cute though, mule slip-ons. So I think these will do okay. 
and um, being an eight and a half. And it's kind of cute. They have this like little detail right around the edges. So it's kind of cool. But here's the, it's hard to see, but treasure and bond. And we have Dr. Scholl's work. Flat leather upper, size nine and a half. Oh, no. No? Yeah. Okay, they are, I thought maybe it was just an insert, but they are Dr. Scholl's. <laughs> but just a very nice, I say barely worn. Blacks, rounded toe, flat. Then these are Michael Michael Kors. Silver, pewter, size 10, so good sizes again. Um, Heel, definitely a lot of scuffing on the silver. So maybe $20, $25. It helps being a 10. Okay, well, I'll grab a match first. Okay, we have these Tory Birch Millers, which is awesome. In a size eight, they're the black patent kind. Pretty good condition, I would say. Get these listed ASAP, but very popular style. Just the Miller sandal with that emblem. The black patent, I'm not really sure how popular that is, but just the Miller is very um, sought after. <laughs> That's so funny. I got these same boots in an earlier thread up box, but these are the wedgie boot I remember looking, but these are a size 10 and they seem better shape. You can tell too a lot with Steve Madden with how white and crisp the inside is, but I mean, they're definitely not new by any means, but really cute, like hidden wedge sneaker booty thing. And again, a size 10. These are Sivan. Let's see. I think they're a size seven. And they feel nice. I feel like they're, uh, actually I think it is leather, but. Sivan, S-I-V-A-N. Never heard of this brand. But they are like a navy, little ankle, ankle booty. So yeah, interesting. Okay, and then we have another pair of Tory Birch. And these are just flats. They are suede. In a size 8. And I, they're like navy suede. But again, anything with the emblem just sells for a lot more. Yeah, I'd say these are pretty good shape too. So that's nice. Can always sell Tory Burch shoes. These are Dolce Vita, size seven and a half. I always forget the size, it's like small and like right there always. And I'm always like looking everywhere. Cause a lot of shoes put the size like way up here on like, especially like flats, like it's like way up there and it's hard to see. But yeah, these are cute. Um, definitely pre-loved, but suede little slip-on loafers, charcoal gray color, great for fall. Then we have another Michael Michael Kors size nine. It's like a classic suede pump. A little bit of a platform. Yeah, these are good shape. So those might sell more around the $30 range, I would say. And our last pair are actually really cool vintage inspired Mark Fishers, but it is so peeling, which is odd to me because like Mark Fisher is supposed to be a nicer brand. And designer but yeah it's just peeling all inside 
but otherwise they're so cute. So yeah, that's unfortunate. I don't think I'll sell them with that, but I don't know, it's just that style is so cute. In my opinion, it's just vintage inspired. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought. Um, has anyone else had any luck with the shoe boxes lately? Did anyone buy as many as I have? Um, yeah, it's kind of, I take what I can get when they put them out because they haven't been releasing them as much right now. Um, but yeah, I will get listing and let me know if you guys have any questions or comments below. We'll see you soon, guys. Bye.